Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you all about hair. I always do videos of like how I style my hair, or different products that I'm loving, but I wanted to do like one big video where I kind of put everything together for you guys and share exactly how I keep my hair healthy, how I keep it from being damaged, even though I color it often and I have extensions, kind of all of my tips and tricks about hair, their very best products, how I use them. I thought I would share with you guys in one big video. I did a video like this, like, years and years and years ago and i feel like it's super helpful but i've updated my products since then and my camera quality so i thought i would kind of re-update this video and share with you guys everything that i love to keep my hair looking and feeling its best if you guys are new to my channel please subscribe i make new videos every week i'd love to have you be a part of our family here i actually do little engagement giveaways over on Instagram where I put together like some of my favorite products and I give away a couple boxes to subscribers and to Instagram followers. So if you're a subscriber and you want to be entered in that giveaway, just follow me on Instagram on stories, you'll see it. So let's get into a little bit about my hair and all of that. You guys know I love to change up my hair. I love to do different things. I was actually very, very blonde for a really long time in my YouTube days and I loved that but i also kind of like came to a point in my life where i'm like you know what i'm fine not being blonde i'm not meant to be blonde my hair is dark and i feel like i like to embrace that now and just do like little sun kiss pieces or even keep it all dark like i kind of like to switch it up still but i like to stay in the brown like kind of dark brown family so a little bit about my hair i actually cut it really really short last year i'll insert pictures so you guys can see it was so cute. I actually might do it again. Like it was the cutest cut. Right now it's actually a little too long for me, but it, that was almost probably like to the day a year ago that I cut it. So since then it's grown like a solid six, seven inches, maybe longer because I do cut it all the time. So my hair grows really fast and I feel like I know how to take care of it and maintain it in a way that really works for me. So I thought it might be useful if I shared a little bit about my hair type with you guys. So I would say I have medium hair. No one's ever told me that I have like fine hair, but no one's ever told me that I have super thick, coarse hair. Actually, if you guys are new to my channel, you don't know this, I got licensed in hair 10 years ago. I've had my license for 10 years. I obviously don't do hair anymore, but I know a little bit about hair and I know a lot about my hair. I know that it's just a medium texture, um, medium thickness. And like I said a little bit earlier in the video, I do get some highlights. I'll come up to the camera so you can see. Like I have a couple little pieces around here, very like small little highlights. And then my like texture of my hair is really wavy, kind of like curly underneath. It's really cute. I wear it natural quite a bit in the summer. I've shown it in pictures all the time. I actually love the way that my natural hair looks and I wear it like that often. But Right now I actually have extensions in and those tend to look a little bit better if I style them. So I've been doing a little more heat styling than normal, but I still like to keep my hair super healthy with the tools that I'm using. So that brings me to today's sponsor, which is T3 Micro. You guys know I'm an ambassador for them. I've worked with them for quite some time and they are releasing some new products that are so cool that I cannot wait to share with you guys. I thought it'd be a perfect fit for this video because it's all about using this new technology in their hair tools that will actually give you the right amount of heat that you need for your hair so you never overexpose it to too much heat, you never damage it. So I thought it was a really great fit for this video. So here are the two new products from T3. First up, we have the flat iron, which is called the Lucia ID. It's so beautiful. Everything is like matte white and rose gold, just a little bit elevated than the products that they already have. It's so nice. The quality is amazing. So this is the Lucia ID. It's their smart flat iron. And then they also came out with a curling iron as well. So this is a one and a quarter inch curling iron. It's called the curl ID. I'm going to actually be using this one today and I'll show you guys exactly how I use it. So you basically get a number, which is called your heat ID. And that's your perfect number, your perfect setting to use on the iron. So you get those perfect results every time where you're not damaging your hair too much. So I actually have like this little cheat sheet here so I can explain to you guys how you figure out your number and you get something really similar like when you get the curling iron that'll show you exactly how you do it but basically to diagnose your hair you figure out the texture of your hair fine medium or coarse like I told you guys I have medium hair and then your hair length short medium or long I'd say right now my hair is medium and then you want to tell them a little bit about your color treatment. Is your hair three or four shades lighter or darker than your natural hair? And is your hair bleached? So yes, I do have highlights in my hair that are 
three to four shades lighter, which we use bleach for. And then if you have a chemical treatment, like a Brazilian blowout or a keratin treatment, or if you have damaged hair, you can input that as well. To set up your heat ID, you just insert your hair texture, your hair length, and then finally, if your hair is color or chemically treated, and then those little flashing bubbles will flash until it's ready. So everything has heated up. I am the curl ID setting number four. So what I'm gonna do now is section out my hair and show you guys just really quickly how I do my like, I call them five minute curls, but they're honestly even faster than five minutes. I have tons of tutorials on how to use the T3 products on my IGTV and also on my YouTube channel. I actually just put one up like last week. So if you want anything like different or unique ways of styling your hair, definitely check out my other videos. I will link a little playlist for you guys, but I'm gonna show you how I do these five minute curls. Normally I don't even section my hair, but I will for the sake of the video. Basically, I just do, I don't even have it in here. I'm gonna use the camera. Little like normal curls like this. And I do like one and a quarter inch sections, the same as the iron. I want my hair to look good, but I don't have all day to style it. So these little curls are perfect for me. So one thing I've noticed is that my hair actually feels a lot healthier even when using this iron, just because I'm not overexposing it to too much heat, which Sometimes I can do if I'm just in a hurry and I want to go fast, I'll like turn up the heat and that's actually not good. So this is perfect for my hair. And I also noticed that the curls last longer. So I always get like messages from you guys saying that your curls don't last as long when I let you know that mine can last like three to five days. So trying out this heat ID and these new products from T3, the curl ID and the Lucia ID. I think you guys will really like it if you have an issue with curls lasting. Your curls will last a long time. So I've showed you guys this before, but basically on the very top layer is the only layer where I do something different and I take the same size of sections. I just use the iron like a wand instead. And basically this just gives some variation to your curls it gives it some different texture, some pieciness, and it also brings the curls up higher. So like down here, you guys can see when I, the curls kind of start here, but when you use it like a wand, they start up higher on your head. So it kind of just gives the illusion like you, you know, put more curls in than you actually did and spent more time than you actually did. And I also feel like it just kind of gives it a fresh, like modern look instead of the basic curls. I mean, I do basic curls all the time. I think it looks really pretty too. If you just want more of that beachy look, using it like a wand is a great little fast trick. So if you guys wanna find out what your heat ID is, just go to the T3 website. I will actually link it in the description of this video so you can go there and check it out, see what your heat ID is and check out the iron and the flat iron for yourself. I think you guys will really like it. And thanks so much to T3 for sponsoring this video. Okay, so that is what I do. And now I will go through it with my fingers. And that is it. You get some volume, you get some curls. My hair just looks smoother and more styled. And I love it. So now I wanna talk about a couple of the hair products that I use on a daily basis. First up, I wanna start with shampoo and conditioner. Anything that's high-end salon quality, I usually would recommend it to you guys. So that's what I look for in a shampoo and conditioner, something that's made for my hair type and something that is salon quality. But when it comes to other products that I use in the shower on my hair, I'm pretty specific. So I love to use like a deep, shampoo on my hair every once in a while. Redken makes a really good one that I used to use all the time. I should pick that up actually. Um, but lately I've been using this one. I don't even know the brand. What is the brand? Good Die Young? Actually I think it says it's made in Nashville. Okay. Yeah. Good Die Young. Weekly detox and scalp treatment. 
This is a great kind of like pre-shampoo that I will use once a week. It almost feels like a scrub you would use on your body or your face. And I kind of use it anywhere where I just feel like I get build up, where I use a lot of product kind of in the crown, or around the face, around the hairline. A great little way to detox any of that product build up on your hair. Another thing that I like to do once a week is a deep conditioning mask. As I told you guys earlier, I have extensions, so the extensions are not getting any of that natural moisture that the hair on my head is, so that's kind of why I use a deep conditioning mask, but if you have thick hair or damaged hair or anything, anything like that, then you probably want to use a deep conditioning mask as well. It's just kind of a good thing to add into your routine. So I have a couple that I love. Um, one of them is the macadamia. I actually had that at the condo in Florida. I just don't have it here with me the macadamia oil. But I also love this one from Kerastase, the pink one, and then this teal one are both really good. This is the resistance mask. Great, I leave this on for like 10 minutes at the end of my shower. And then this one I just started using recently, maybe like two, three months ago. This is the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask. I'd say they both feel pretty similar on the hair. This one is maybe a little thicker, but this one, the smell is so good. Like, it literally smells like cotton candy lip gloss. I don't know why, it just smells very sweet and girly, and I love the scent of this. It's funny because it's like avocado kiwi, but it smells like cotton candy. And then after I get out of the shower, I always like to moisturize my hair again, just to lock in that moisture, number one, but I also like to do something that will kind of act as my heat protectant. So I normally let my hair kind of air dry for maybe five, 10 minutes while I'm putting on lotion, getting dressed and that kind of stuff. And then I'll go into my hair once it's not like sopping wet. So what I like to use is the Aveda Damage Remedy. This is the Daily Hair Repair. I've honestly used this off and on for 10 years. It's just a great kind of like leave-in conditioner and then this doubles as my heat protectant as well. But I've had great success with this, keeping my hair really healthy, keeping my ends really healthy. And I love it. It's very, very light, which is what I like. None of these products are gonna weigh down your hair and make it look greasier sooner than it should or anything like that. Because although I want all that moisture, I don't want my hair to like look greasy or oily. I hate that. So Daily Hair Repair is a very great lightweight leave-in conditioner. So if you have fine, thin hair that can't handle a lot of moisture, this would still be really, really good for you. And then if you want an oil, you guys know I love the Whey hair oil. I also love the Kerastase oil. I just like to do something on my ends. Like I said, I really try to take good care of my extensions, which I will talk a little bit about that. So mine, they're not glued in or taped in or bonded in or anything like that. I would not recommend that. I just don't think it's worth it for your hair. I think if you can find something that is very little damage to your hair, then go for it. But also, I give my hair breaks a lot. So I recently had the extensions out for about a year. I just recently put them back in a couple months ago. They're the exact same length as my hair. I just kind of like them for a little added fullness in the bottom. Like I told you guys earlier, my hair is kind of like a medium texture, but at the ends, it's just not as thick as it is at the top. And I like the look of it kind of being thick at the bottom, especially with that shorter length. So actually they're pretty grown out right now. I need them moved up, but I'll show you guys kind of what they look like. So let's see if I can find one. Right here is what they look like. They are called Clicks Hair Extensions and they're amazing. I love them. I get them done by my friend Sam. She does a great job. And like I said, I just had them for a little bit of fullness, but when I take them out, I feel like my hair looks the same. Like I like my hair with and without it. I just kind of like to have fun. So I put the extensions in sometimes when I want a little more fullness. Moving on to some styling products. I hate this pretty minimal. I used to use a lot of styling products and I felt like that just kind of built up on my hair and weighed it down and ended up not giving me that like bouncy, healthy texture that I wanted. So I will use a little bit of a lightweight hairspray. This is the Air Control from Aveda. It's a really, really lightweight hairspray. So I'll use that like here and there if I am going out or if I really need my hair to last or kind of like a special occasion, but I definitely don't use it every day. Nothing wrong with it. I think you could. I just don't need it every day. And then finally, I love to have a dry shampoo on hand. This is the Way collab with Byredo, so it smells so good. I think it's the Mojave Ghost. It's really, really pretty. I feel like 
I want to get this perfume from my mom because it smells like right up her alley. It's very feminine, but not, not in like a too girly kind of way. Like feminine is just in something like pretty and glam. And that reminds me of my mom, a scent that she would like. So I love this scent. Um, a great dry shampoo. I always use their dry shampoos. Really good if you just wanna go a little bit longer in between washes, maybe if you work out, whatever. I just like to make sure I use one that's invisible. And then honestly, I only use this probably like the day before I wash my hair. I used to be really big on using dry shampoo and I would use it like almost every day. I honestly used to always use it even when my hair was clean, just for like that dirty texture, which I love that look. But I have an all white bed with all white sheets and I just can't stand the thought of like making my hair dirty and then putting it on my white sheets. I don't know, something about it. So that is something that I don't use on a daily basis anymore, but I still use it if I have to, if my hair looks oily or a little bit shiny and I don't have time to wash it. Definitely a big fan of the dry shampoo. But another thing I'll do if I have a little bit more time, like maybe on vacations when I don't really wanna do a full wash or something, is I'll actually just wash this part of my hair in the sink and re-blow dry that. And it actually kind of gives you like that fresh blowout type of look, but it takes 10 minutes. And lastly, my final tip to you guys is make sure you're going to a great hairstylist. Make sure you're getting trims often. Make sure you're not over exposing your hair to too much bleach, causing it too much damage. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I just felt like for my hair and just me, I wanted to embrace my natural color and I didn't want to overly damage or overly process my hair anymore. So for the past couple of years, I've just been getting kind of like light highlights when I feel like it, but also just wearing my regular color as well. And I really like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gives you some tips and tricks, maybe some ideas on new products to try. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again to T3 Micro for sponsoring today's video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.